Pilates and personal training. Today I want to introduce you to the Pilates Reformer, which is this apparatus that I'm sitting on. I think there's a lot of confusion, question, and even some fear associated with the Reformer. I often hear people say, oh, is that, is that machine going to hurt me? Well, the answer is no, it is not going to hurt you. The Reformer is actually a very graceful machine, and it, what it does is it helps to lengthen, strengthen, tone the body, um, regulate imbalances you might have. It's really good for people that are overcoming an injury or for people that have one muscle that's more developed than another to try and create that balance in the body. It's a great overall workout and an awesome workout for the core. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to come on down to my back. I'm going to put my feet up on the foot bar. My shoulders are just lightly resting against the shoulder rest. My fingertips are reaching long, and of course I've got that belly button pulled in, nice contraction with my core. I'm going to inhale as I lengthen away with my legs, and exhale as I draw back in. I don't have heavy spring weights on here, so this is not like a squat press where I'm pushing big weights. I want to use light weight so that I can isolate and use the smaller muscles in my legs and not automatically be forced to use my quads or my hamstrings to make the action help. Do a couple more like that. I'm really focusing on that core every time I bring the carriage in. I'm exhaling and squeezing that belly button in farther. Now I'm going to change the legs up a little bit and go to a parallel position with my feet lined up with my knees and with my hip bones, and I'm going to push that carriage out, and then I do Pilates style running, which if you run on the road, this is similar to regular running, however on the reformer you get a wonderful stretch through the back of the legs, the hamstring, the calves, and also into the front of the legs, into that shin area as well. So if you do regular running, Pilates running will probably feel really good for you because it really does stretch those legs out so well. A couple more times. And then I'm going to bend those knees and bring the carriage back in. Now just like in a yoga class or a mat Pilates class, I can do my bridge. So I'm going to roll myself up into my perfect bridge. And then I'll push the carriage out, really using the hamstrings to draw me back in. And I can roll myself back down, stretching out that spine, letting my tailbone hit last. And I'm going to come on up to a sitting position so I can work on my arms a little bit. And to do this, I'll thread my feet back through the shoulder rest, and I'm gonna grab those hand straps, which are the smaller loops. And then I'm gonna pull that belly button in, open the shoulders, and lift up with those arms. So really working those arm muscles to make this action happen. And I'll also feel this some in my back. And I can add on, I can draw the arms up, open out to the side, bring them back to the center, and lower down, getting more muscles involved. And now I really want to focus on my core, so I'm going to turn around, and again I'll thread those legs through the shoulder rest, and I'm going to grab both straps together with my hands, and I'm going to do some roll downs. What I really like about roll downs on the reformer is it really helps you to isolate. If you have a weaker part in your abdomen, the, the straps will help you, providing a little bit of stability, and let you work on whatever area it is you need to develop. So it really helps you create that balance, develop weaker areas as you work on that roll up and roll down. I'm really pulling that belly button in, scooping out, and bringing it back up. And I can get a little arm work in here too if I bring those arms up to a 90 degree angle, roll myself back down, keep the belly pulled in, and then add some bicep curls. So I'm working my core and my biceps at the same time. I'm going to roll myself back up, drop those hands to my side, pressing back, I can open up that chest and get a chest expansion. So I'm working another set of muscles with just a small change. Now hang those straps back up. So I've given you a small, small, small sample of what the reformer can do, but I hope what you've seen is that it's not scary, it's not gonna hurt you, but it can provide you many different ways to work your body, to balance out those muscles, to create longer, stronger, leaner, more effective muscles. So next time you see a reformer, I hope that you'll consider giving it a try and realize that it could be what you're looking for in your workout. I'm Lucy with 12 South Pilates and Personal Training. Thanks for watching.